Okay, class. So now we are going to prepare the financial statements. The first financial statement that we are going to prepare is the income statement. And we are going to get the from the 10 columns, the balances of our income statement, in, and this is what we have, okay? Okay, now we can prepare the income statement based on the 10 column worksheet. In extract ko lang dito yung income statement natin kasi hindi ko pwedeng, hindi kasya ipakita lahat yung 10 columns, so yung income statement column na lang. And we can prepare the income statement, okay? You know how to prepare this. Binagaralan na natin. So inventory beginning, wala dito, but we know that there that this is the way how to present the income statement. We have to have the inventory beginning. We have to add the net purchases. And net purchases will be your gross purchases. Add freight in, less uh, purchase returns will give you your net purchase. And net purchase will be added to your inventory beginning to get your merchandise available for sale. Less inventory end will give you your cost of goods sold. Net sales minus cost of goods sold will give you your gross profit. Okay. And less the expenses here. Now you can you can indicate the expenses here. Okay, here. Okay, class. Okay, and you can present plus the way you, we are presenting the income statement. Pinauna natin yung mas malaking amount and then yung non-cash expense, medyo huli na. Okay, dito hindi siya ganun ang presentation niya but because we are presenting an income statement, so inaayos na natin. So the total expenses is 72000 So the net profit is 59000 That 59000 Okay, class. So now, we have completed our income statement. Okay. Now, based on the 10 column worksheet, let us now extract our balance sheet. Ano yung mga balance natin sa balance sheet natin? So ito yung mga per balance sheet, ganito ang ating balances. Based on this, we can prepare our statement of financial position. So we have our assets, current assets, cash, Accounts receivable minus allowance of 8,000, okay? And then merchandise inventory of 55, supplies, prepaid insurance. Then you will have your total current assets. Then our non-current assets, you have equipment minus accumulated depreciation. That will give you your total non-current assets, okay? Total current plus total non-current will give you your total assets. Now let us get our liabilities and equity. We have our current liabilities. And here our current liabilities is only 110,000. And non-current liabilities we don't have, that's zero. So our total liability is 110, okay? And let us have our equity. Our equity, our beginning is 160,000 and we have an owner's drawing of 5,000 and we have a net profit of 59,000. So our owner's capital N is 214,000 and 110 plus 214,000 will give you a total liability and equity of 324,000. So balance yon sa ating total assets. Okay? Hindi na tayo class nagpakita ng separate statement of owner's equity. Inalagay na lang natin dito, okay? Sa statement of financial position. Normally, basta hindi lang masyadong complicated ang statement of owner's equity, pwede na siya ipakita sa statement of financial position. Okay?